Hello friends, this video on combustion and flame part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we are now going to talk about flames. So everywhere we discussed about combustion, we found that the, the result of combustion is either a flame or a fire. So here we are going to talk about flames and how are flames different for different combustible substances. So what exactly is a flame? So it is a hot glowing ignited gas during combustion. Now whenever the process of combustion happens, that is the combustible substance reacts with oxygen releasing a lot of heat and light. So how is this heat and light released? It is released in the form of a flame. Now this flame again uh, differs from one object to another. So if you look at a candle, so the, the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of a flame is that of the flame of a candle. So if you look at the flame, how does it look? It looks somewhat yellowish to orange in color. That's how it normally looks when you see it from far. So this is the visible gaseous part. It is actually gas. So do you think that flame is a solid or a liquid? No, it is all gas. So it is the ignited gas which becomes visible during combustion. So that is called flame. Now, if you look at the flames from different objects, that is the candle flame or uh, the LPG flame or even the Bunsen burner flame. So all of them, they look quite different from each other. So if you look at the Bunsen burner flame, it is more bluish in color. You look at the candle flame, it is more yellowish or orangish in color. If you look at the LPG flame again, there also your gas oven, the flame there also is little bluish in color. So the type or the structure of the flame, the color of the flame, it varies from one object to another. Now the question is, do all substances produce flames during burning? Now we know that combustion doesn't happen for all substances, but it happens for all combustible substances. Now, is it necessary that all combustible substances will produce flame when they undergo uh, the process of combustion? Let us take two examples. The first example is that of a candle. So in case of candle, when you light the candle, when you bring a matchstick near the candle, it catches fire and you see flames. So when do you see flames? During combustion. So that means candle produce flames during burning. Now let us take another example of say charcoal. So what is charcoal? Charcoal is the, the object which is obtained by heating wood in absence of oxygen. So if you heat wood, what you get is nothing but charcoal. So charcoal also acts as a fuel. Now when you burn charcoal, what happens? Do you see flames? Now in the picture you see it clearly shows that there is no flame as such. All you can see is a reddish glow but there is no flame as such. So that means not all combustible substance produce flames but in this case heat is produced right. So heat is being produced that means this process which is taking place here is combustion but there are no flames. So that means not all substances produce flames during combustion. So the question is, which substances produce flames? Substances which vaporize during burning produce flames. Now what do we mean by vaporize? That means those substances which get converted into their vapors during burning, only they produce flames. Now again, let's go back to the example of the candle. So in candle, what do you think is getting vaporized when it is being burned? It is the wax. So the can have you ever observed when the candle is burning, the wax is actually being melting. So that means the wax is actually getting, th those wax melts are actually getting converted into vapors and due to the formation of those vapors, we are able to see the flame because flame is nothing but the ignited vapors. Vapors are only being visible as flames. But in case of charcoal, no vaporization is happening. Nothing is, no, no part of the substance is actually getting converted into vapors. Since there are no vapors, therefore there are no flames. So not only candle, let us take other examples also. So if you take the example of the uh, gas burners, so there also what is it that is getting converted into vapors? It is nothing but the LPG, the LPG gas which is stored inside the cylinders. 
So LPG is stored in cylinders with most of it being in liquid form and an upper layer being gaseous. So what, what does LPG do in order to vaporize? So LPG takes heat from the surrounding environment and naturally reverts to a gaseous state. So in order to vaporize, what we need to do in order to vaporize LPG, all that is needed is just take a matchstick or a gas lighter in front of it. And that's all. So the LPG gets vaporized and due to the formation of these vapors, we see the flames. That is why you would have observed that if your uh, gas burner, this area, if it is wet, so if it is wet, in that case, even if you bring a matchstick near it and switch it on, but it doesn't catch fire easily. Why? Because of the presence of water. So water will lower its ignition temperature and therefore it will not allow it to catch fire. So here also something is getting vaporized. That is why we see flames. So even if you talk about the Bunsen burner, so there also you see in, in Bunsen burner, if you if you have a Bunsen burner in your chemistry lab, please have a look at it. You will see that there is a pipe which is nothing but the gas pipe. This gas pipe is connected to the Bunsen burner and this gas gets converted into vapors and those vapors are seen as flames. So wherever there is vaporization taking place, you will see flames and where there is no vaporization taking place, you will not see flames. So it is not necessary that uh, combustion is always accompanied by formation of flames. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.